one of the most interesting concepts which can drive innovation, both business model innovation as well as product service or process innovation is this idea of innovate to zero. Uh, we are more familiar with some of the more well-known applications of innovate to zero, for example, zero wastage, zero emission, zero smoke, but uh, we can also see interesting examples being adopted in very other areas, for example, zero email, which has led to increase in workplace productivity in many companies. We are hearing about uh, zero crime, which is driving uh, guiding policies in countries such as Iceland. We are also hearing about even zero work, which is the underlying principle behind minimum basic income. And many pilot studies are coming up in countries all the way from in Africa to India, as well as in Europe. And going forward, this is going to be a really serious policy tool and is being debated in the US elections as well. So going forward, uh, Innovate to Zero will be a very interesting concept. But the key challenges that we need to balance is to have a cost versus benefit analysis and also balancing short-term and long-term goals. But nonetheless, if the value can be realized, you can have many unexpected benefits as well. For example, instances of improvement in customer uh, satisfaction as a result of higher productivity through zero email. So going forward, we look forward to many applications of Innovate to Zero in your organization, and we look forward to supporting you in this regard. Thank you. Thank you.